It's Taste Pink and in today's video I did not come to play. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to switch up your look using this drawstring ponytail from Her Given Hair then look absolutely no further and if you want makeup inspiration definitely stay tuned. The sledge almost took me clean on out. Mm. So to get into it, I like to saturate the drawstring ponytail with water so you can see exactly what you're working with. You can relax the curl pattern because it's not going to be nearly as tight as when you first take it out of the package. After saturating the hair with lukewarm water, I'm going to follow up by using this conditioner. This is actually the one that Her Given Hair sent me and this is super hydrating. It's so moisturizing and I love to just lather this all on to all of the hair and use some sort of brush you can use a denman brush to just work it through the hair evenly and i did get a little bit more shedding than normal but after you let it sit it's like as good as new now how y'all doing okay so i'm back and my hair is air dried no blow dryer anything and i use the carrot oil moisturizer from fantasia i love that stuff and so i'm just going to break my hair down into two sections now if you're new here 4c 4z 5g lte hair it's interesting okay so i broke my hair down into sections i'm working with the first section and applying the style factor edge booster styling gel now this is not something i would use on my hair for maximum hold i'm doing this because this is a preliminary step okay this is if you want your hair to better obey you and then once I've got enough of the product and worked it through with the brush I'm gonna take my elastic band scrunchie that I made I'll have a tutorial linked in the card section so you can check it out but I love using this it's so large it's so stretchy and it does not break any of my hair honey a length retention all 2020 okay I play no games Now as for the back of my hair, I broke this down into two more sections and I'm just taking small sections and applying the styling gel. And I do this because I'm going to create a more sleek look. You're kind of like reducing the volume. You're kind of relaxing your roots. You know, if you're anything like me, your hair, the roots, they love to dance. They like to cause a problem. They don't obey the rules. They just do what they want to do. So in breaking it down into smaller sections, it just creates a more sleek, finished look. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, but I wanted to add a little bit of oil, especially to the scalp. Honey, I know this gel may do a number on my hair. So as a preventative measure, I like to just add cold press jojoba oil to the roots, massage it in, and then go in and just apply the styling gel. Just so you guys know, the perimeter hairline for me is rather fine. It's not thin, it's fine. There is a difference. The crown of my head is thicker than, um, I don't even know, it's just super thick. So it's crazy that I have like two different types of thick and fine hair all on one head. So now that I have basically all of my hair contained in my elastic band scrunchie, I'm going to go in with the Style Factor Edge Booster. Now this is the bit, this is the real deal, okay? We was playing before with the styling gel, but with the Edge Booster, the styling pomade, this creates that sleek finish. What I don't always like about this is the white residue, but again, apply that oil so you can combat that white film that sometimes shows on the hair. And as for my ends, I'm going to twist them down and apply a little bit of that moisturizer to the ends to make sure that you know we're taking care of our hair and I'm going to use these Sanek neck strips and I'm gonna apply like two of these I almost did three but I'm like girl you don't have that much head so I'm like I mean I do have a big head but you know then I'm gonna go in with my satin scarf make sure it's together I even added another scarf off screen because I was like okay girl I took the uh Sanek neck strips off and you know I will be fixing my makeup around my hairline, so don't worry about that. But I'm just twisting the twist into a bun. And here is the co-washed and air-dried drawstring. And I like to place the combs into my hair, but you wanna be careful and make sure that the drawstring is positioned at the back near the nape. And we're just gonna swing that string around and don't pull it too tight because you will force the combs to scrape your scalp, which can be very uncomfortable and cause breakage at the crown. And my crown is very, very susceptible to breakage. So I have to be very careful. And now I'm going in to just mist the hair with a little bit of water and I'm applying the Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Milk by Aussie. This stuff is amazing. I just wanted to apply this to soften the hair and use this comb to kind of work it through the ends. 
and just kind of reduce that frizz but if you see that motion if you want maximum curl definition glide that brush or that comb through the hair so there is a lot of hair on this drawstring ponytail and i've done a lot of updos but i wanted to try something a little bit different to create a bun so what i'm doing here is just creating two separate sections trying to get a feel for it feel for the thickness i'm going to brush it out to volumize it just a bit and then once i feel like i have enough volume i'm going to go in and like do this two strand twist and you don't want to make it too tight you want to leave it a little bit loose if you want a messier look you can make it even more loose Again, it's all about the vibe, the aesthetic that you're going for. And I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. So you end up with two sections total. So you end up with two twists total. Now here, I'm just going to wrap one twist around the base. Again, I'm just figuring it out as I go and doing what looks and feels right. And I'm gonna use a bobby pin to secure it in place. And then with the other twist, I'm going to actually swing this around sort of towards the top because I wanna build a little bit of height for my bun. So it looks super cute. I have a larger head, so the bun gotta be a little bit big and sit a little high. Y'all already know. Now, once I pin that into place, I did my edges off screen because they were causing a lot of trouble. They're in detention, but you know, I wanted to show you a little sneak peek. I'm using the Edge Booster Hideout, which just adds a little bit more of a fuller, more dense look because again, my hairline is rather fine, not thin. Don't come for me, it's fine, not thin. So this is a really good tip I like to use. And again, I had to go back in with a little bit of the Edge Booster. And girl, you know I'm extra, I had to go in. This is a real rose that I put into my bun. I want it to be extra cute. I'm trying to give you guys the vibes, the feels for the night, okay? Valentine's Day or any day I'm coming to slay, okay? You take me out to dinner, you're gonna have something to look at, okay? I want y'all to get into the vibe, get into the feel. I love this bun, I think it works beautifully. Now, if my hair were blow dried, I think the results would be a little bit more seamless, but honey, this drawstring ponytail, she did what she had to do and I am impressed. Now tell me, are y'all feeling this look? Am I too extra with the rose? I love this accent, it's just so gorgeous. Let me know in the comments, but you know, I got another look coming up. Let me know which one is your favorite. For the next look, we're switching things up. I wanted to apply a little bit of water. You don't want to make it so that it's drenching wet. Just a little bit of moisture and I'm using the Pantene Sculpting Gel. Now I'm gonna be heavy handed with this. You guys are gonna see I use a lot of it, but I love how much it defines the curls. And one thing about her giving hair, like the curls that they send me always pop. And I love that this drawstring ponytail is so full, it's so thick. And so you have a lot of styling options. I wanted to show you guys again, when you're using that brush, really take your time moving it through the ends of the hair, sort of like curve it upward, because for whatever reason, that just makes the curls go insane. Like you see what I'm doing right there? Honey, look at that look, definition on 10. So. I'm loving the results on this. I let this air dry like completely. So you guys get to see the difference when you're adding a sculpting product versus a product that just adds a little bit of shine and tames the frizz. So I'm back, how you doing? This is day two, okay honey? Taking that drawstring ponytail, positioning it right on top of that bun. Now look at those curls just popping, okay? This is a whole look right here. You could kind of, you know, wrap that string around and kind of be done. This is the whole look right here within itself, but you know, I'm gonna take it a little bit further. So pin the string in place and then have fun. You know, we're gonna do a fine apple, but I wanna be extra fine, okay? And I'm gonna take these rubber bands that I've saturated in jojoba oil. And because these are smaller, you wanna be super careful as you create your bun at the top. And you wanna make the bun a little bit larger so the hair doesn't sit too low. This is 18 inches, so I found that like it lays very low if you don't pull enough into the bun. So situate the bun, pull up as much hair as you can. And I wanted to do enough hair in the front so it perfectly like shapes my face and it's a nice frame. And then use that wide tooth comb to give a little bit of volume again if you do this on like freshly washed hair it doesn't have that same definition so that's why i use the product and here i just wanted to pull a few hairs down on the side make it a little cute keep the symmetry going add a little bit of free spray to give it some hold but also to you know increase that volume because you know i love big hair and sis 
I feel like I did this. What do you think? My lip combos in this video are going crazy. They're all from the crayon case. Definitely check them out. Her Given Hair is having a sale from today up until the 15th, so I think you should definitely take advantage of it. Human hair drawstring ponytails are everything. I still have the very first one I did, and I'll link that video in the description box. Do not delay, sis. It's worth every penny. Subscribe, turn your post notifications on, share this with your homeboys and your homegirls. Give this video a thumbs up if you were feeling my looks and the vibe that I said. And also, kiki with me in the comments because, you know, we have a lot to discuss. See you in the next one.